Ladies and gentlemen, moving straight on to the next bout of the evening. This is a professional MMA bout, fought over three, five minutes at 61 kilos, and proudly sponsored by MMA Reloaded. Your first fighter, stepping into the cage and fighting out of the red corner, Mitch Dobbins! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a main event, main card in any show up or down the country. And we're getting Marlon Jones versus Mitch Dobbins in their pro debuts. Both had exceptional amateur careers. Mitch Dobbins representing SBG South Shields, fighting in the purple tie shorts, the pink anklets. Marlon Jones from Liverpool, the Aspire man. I'm, I just can't believe that this is the first pro fight in both these young men's career. I know, it's almost unfair that one of them has to lose really, but as you say, spectacular amateur careers from both of these two, both ranked very close to the top. I believe Marlon even was. Number one, number one. the number one bantamweight amateur in the country. But unfortunately his last outing as, a, as an amateur, he ran into Curtis Campbell. Oh, goes high, just out of range. It was Jones there? Curtis Campbell is in a, is in the corner of Mitch Dobbins, which yeah. I think is interesting. I wonder how much, uh, how much advice he's been given on his experience from fighting Marlon. Where you got? Oh, beautiful! Oh, looks like, oh, like he nearly went straight to the guillotine there. But I thought. Uh, Dobbins tried to land that knee up the middle of the body, but Jones used that as a as the catalyst for the takedown. 
got to be wise. Looks Keeping like a hot, high guard is is Mitch Dobbins. Dobbins seems to be going for the body trying every now and then from bottom, which, which is fine, but it's more of a, a very stagnant position. Yeah, it's going to hold you now. He's trying to stay active a bit. Marlon, some big big shots, shots coming down, but go. Oh, Dobbins is looking for the arm, but Jones wise to that. Marlon bit of a mad scramble here. Flowing on top, riding the position out. Dobbins doing the right thing though. He's looking for underhooks on, on the far side. Now he's turned that into a wrist ride. And gonna get himself back into that full guard. Yeah. Good work doing that. Was bringing that guard up high again. It's gonna threaten the triangle. Marlon's doing a good job at the moment though of not letting his hands touch the mat. He's keeping his hands in the center of his body. He might need to square himself up a little bit. There's the arm! Acceptable to the armbar. Oh, he stretch! His way out of it, but it might not be enough. If he's going to try and shake that elbow out, that's exactly what he's got to what? do. What? Well done by Marlon Jones. But then again, you know, this is where those hours of amateur fights come in handy. There's not going to be many positions he hasn't seen or hasn't been in. And he's got to be careful. Though. And Dobbins again. again. Marlon's got to make sure that he's squaring himself up when he's in full guard like that. He can't allow Dobbins to have an angle, otherwise he's going to be threatening those arm bars all night. There he goes again. Oh, a couple of little ground and bound shots got through there, though. Marlon keeping those hips high. Again, Dobbins going for that body lock from the bottom. Makes it difficult to pull off your own submissions and hold your person in the guard. It's... Yeah, almost kind of like I'm going to try and lock it down and maybe we yeah. get stood up. But it's not that he hasn't been active or effective off his back. He's been keeping Marlon Jones honest the whole time. Oh, another big shot gets through, though, from Jones. Staying heavy. I suppose it could always be that he just doesn't want Marlon to pass guard. So he's putting him in that body lock to keep him there. Yep. And when he's ready... Then he'll go for the angle and Could open very up his well guard be. Got, a, got one of the butterfly guard in now. Yep. But Marlon moving with it. See if he tries to use that butterfly hook he has on the one side. Looks like he's trying to take yep. the post away at least. And again, that bringing angle. that yeah. high guard up. Is he going to look to try and slot in the triangle or is he just trying to tie his man up? Marlon trying to step over into half guard, but. Dobbins just, oh, and he lovely mount, oh, really? and both hooks in. This is a tough position now for Mitch Dobbins. Mitch Dobbins is taking some big shots here from Marlon. 26 seconds left in the round. Marlon trying to get under the chin. No, not there, but he will chip away again, land some heavy shots. 15 seconds remaining. Let's see what he can do with it. Can Dobbins manages to... Get back to the bat, pull Jones into that half guard. Good first round from the Aspire man, Marlon Jones. Now that's an interesting round. That's an interesting round because it depends on what, how you want to score what each fighter did. I think if you were gonna go from a position of uh, I value control and I, have, and I value top pressure and top position, you yeah, give it to Marlon. That's However, if you were judging it on who came closer to finishing the fight, see, I would argue that armbar was see, closer. See, that's, that's where it, he had a 20 second moment over five minutes where he made Marlon defend an armbar. Yeah. But he spent four minutes and 40 seconds on his back, unable to get up. Yes, he threatened for submissions, yep. but none of, them re re none of them resulted in sweeps, reversals, or a dominant position. That's Marlon Jones round all day. I think that's a that's a very fair way of looking at it. But of course, as we've seen tonight, judges can have absolutely different opinions. He he he, he certainly Don certainly yep. certainly looked to throw on the submissions, but I mean, the, throwing them up. The person who came closer to being finished was Marlon. Yes, but Marlon but, won that round. But he still won. The, it's <laughs> yeah, very without confusing. question. It's very difficult to do. It's so subjective as MMA yeah. scoring. Yeah. Oh so yeah. Subjective. And what is my opinion? My opinion matters for nothing because I'm on <laughs> this side of things. We get the easy job. Amen. <laughs> But in my books, Marlon up one to nil, and should you disagree, then 
Perhaps you're wrong too. <laughs> Nice jab. Oh, and a nice little short elbow there by Jones. Yeah, rolled underneath Dobbins' shot and then replied with an elbow. Very relaxed. Dobbins, though, walking Marlin back, goes to the body. That was a nice right hand to the body. Yeah, he cha changes it up. Now Marlin starting to push forward. Dobbins starting to use distance a little better, I feel, in this round. He's not rushing in. It's maybe still due with being maybe a half step back from Jones. Because it yeah. allows Jones to do that. But he goes straight in and looks for it. Is he he's got on that Kimura. Kimura lock? I don't know if he's going to be able to turn that into a submission, but he might be able to take the back with it. Nice scramble, though, from Marlin, who says no, 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 no. And ends up inside the open guard. And we go back to this body lock position. On bottom for Mitch Dobbins. Yeah, I don't care. I I don't care what the rules are. It's pretty hard to convince judges you're winning a fight off your back. Yeah. Unless you're throwing oh, up constant submission. Absolutely. And the other guy isn't doing anything on top. There have been a few fights in history where, you know, Pat Curran back in the day. Yeah. You can count them on one yeah, hand. It, yeah, it, it's hard to hard. Even if you want to play that jits game off your back, you've got to be, you've got to be so consistent with it. Because although not much is happening here, it is still Mitch Dobbins underneath. Yeah. You might like to see a little bit more activity from from Marlon Jones, but this is his pro debut. Yeah, and again, it's not like he's, you know climbed into the cage with another debutante. These guys have had such prolific amateur careers. So it is just those changes to the, you know, the ability to throw those elbows or the knees to the head. And now we might be seeing why Mitch Dobbins was going for that body lock position from the full guard because now Marlon Jones has transitioned over into half guard. And he's locked it. He's trying to lock himself yeah. right into that. I think he doesn't want to pass into side control. I think he... As you say, from locking down that leg, you can tell he wants to stay in this half guard position. Pretty unfair of him. You can't land a knee to the body from from yeah. inside the guard. But look at Mitch Dahl, constant working, constant changing where that guard is, bringing it up high and again. He knows what he needs to do. He's, he's looking for that angle again. Oh, just misses with that slicing elbow to Jones. It's going to let him back up. No. Nope. Going to force his man down to the camp. Turn him to the side now. Take the onto the back a little bit now. This is where things could start getting very problematic for Mitch Dobbins. Still sitting in. Again, he looks like can't see just from his hand. It looks like he's locked himself into that half guard. Again, Randy Couture would be proud if he can force his man up against the cage, get a bit of posture. He might as well chip away. Marlon passes into full mount. Don't let him off the cage. Be interesting Don't let him to see what he chooses to do from here. Well, um, I'm thinking he's going to look for some posture and to bang, but great work from Dom. He's even getting that quarter guard, half guard back. Turning into Jones. Um, both, these, both these athletes are going to know they've been in a been in a fight after this one lots of energy it's a very grueling fight this but this is the kind of fight we've seen Jones have throughout his amateur happy to embrace the grind if he needs to same with Mitch Dobbins this is why this is such a class fight for for both of them that be making their debut against one another Nice shot there, Lance. Ain't no Marlin. quarantine fight club here. Oh. Bringing that guard up high again. Is he going to threaten with the triangle? Only 10 seconds left. And again, a round that he spent underneath yeah. Marlin, absorbing the pressure, not taking a lot of damage. Not taking a lot of damage, but unfortunately, unlike the first round, he couldn't even make the argument that he came close no. to submitting Marlin. Um, 
that, that one was even more one-sided than the first. So you wonder what the advice from Alex Anlin is going to be. Alex Anlin, former Cage Warriors champion, almost had his UFC dream, but unfortunately a, a, a scan showed that he had something on the brain and, and couldn't fight, but what a great coach he's turned into as Alex Anlin. I feel like he's he's definitely found his purpose though against Oh, the yeah, he one of, one of the best. Wow, the seconds are cleared. Third and final round. I'm still, a little, I'm still gobsmacked. It's like the pro debut for both these guys. Touch gloves. Five minutes left to separate them. Marlon Jones, Aspire Combat Sports Academy, the black shorts, the blue corner, as he takes on Mitch Dobbins, the SBG South Shields man, in the purple. Trunks and pink anklets. Jones just looks perhaps to be a little bit fresher at the moment. I think that would be fair to say, although Mitch Dobbins doesn't look fatigued no. necessarily. Just maybe slightly less fresh. He's pushing forward. Goes high, but. Marlon slips nicely. Yeah, just slips nicely. Marlon Jones holding the center of the, the cage. Dobbins walking forward, but walks into that takedown. And now, uh, however. Now, this is interesting. We haven't seen Dobbins have much of an opportunity on top so far. No, and has he got that Although neck? It looks like he's committing to this neck. I don't know if that's under the chin of Marlon Jones, though. No, Jones just rolling to his side, but is it going to... No, he doesn't have it. Lovely scramble, and, and Marlon... Jones just refuses to let Dobbins to his feet. Solidifies top position. Well, him. Dobbins yeah. not going to make that easy either. Constant movement. Excellent work to get back to his knees there. Jones looking to try and chip away with some shots, but... Now, if you're, if you're Mitch Dobbins in this position, you're probably thinking, I need to get back to full guard, because the place he's had the most success is in attacking off his back from full yeah. guard. However, he keeps going off to the same side, and the first time he did it, it was really successful, because he went off to the side, Marlon didn't square up, and then he attacked that armbar. But now, whenever he goes into half uh, into full guard, and he goes for the armbar, he's doing it on the same side he did it the first time, which Marlon is expecting. I'd like to see him battle to get to full guard, and then maybe try and switch up the attack. Maybe change that into a triangle perhaps yeah. or do the arm bar on the other side I thought for a moment Marlon was looking to try and get try and set up the head and arm but I don't, no, just I don't think he's going to sacrifice position just going to slot, try to slice through that half guard force legs over and if not clamp down get that wide base and control good work from Dobbins now Gets. Dobbins has regained full guard Let's see if he goes for the arm bar on the other side or, or a different submission. So far, he's consistently well, he attacked keeps, yeah, the right keeps. arm of Marlon, and he does it again. I'm anticipating Marlon's going to be savvy to it. He's keeping his head in, very smart. Awkward position here. Yeah. I mean, Mitch, Mitch probably wants to try and set up for an Oma Plata, but... Marlon has put his knee across the belly, preventing him from doing so, and now he's completely And now on to the, the back. Guard. Oh, tried to slide, but again, no, more than happy to kind of puts sit in that back. half guard now. Deliberately puts himself back into half guard. And then locks it up. Yep. And then tries to force open. But you see, Mitch went for the same route again. He went to go back to guard, and then back to the armbar on the same side. Yeah. 
which is great. He's really good at that. He's, he's gotten to that position numerous times, even though Marlin knows what he wants to do. So obviously he's able to, to get to a, a dangerous position, even though Marlin is aware of it, but he's yeah. not able to finish because it's not going to surprise him. Yeah. Um, again, you know, you think about the story damage of careers both these guys have had. You got to get up pretty, pretty early in the morning to pull one over the eyes of one of these two fighters. And now, 45 seconds to go. Marlon Jones. Okay, now Mitch has got full guard again. Let's see if he goes for something other than an armbar. On well, the it'll have arm. to be whatever it is. He's got 35 seconds left to do it in. I'd like to see him mix it up. Go for a triangle instead. Nah, Jones gets his posture now. Going to try and maybe throw those legs to the side. Oh, he's oh. fallen into a, into a triangle position here. He this has fallen in. He's got 10 seconds. I would get the angle and pull down on the head, underhook the leg and pull down Mitch. Whoa, what a way to finish that round, though. I think Mitch might have been let... Oh. Jones let off the hook. Didn't look in any real trouble in that triangle, but had he had more time to work and cook him. Oh, I think, I think Mitch Dobbins might be... Uh, might be injured a little bit. He's holding one of his ribs. Maybe that's why he didn't viciously attack that triangle. I think that might be the case. I think he has a, a rib maybe broken or dislocated. I don't know. He doesn't look comfortable. No, it's definitely a rib injury. That that really doesn't... Because I was thinking, you know, why isn't he going for the underhook on the leg? Why isn't he Why isn't he attacking that more viciously? Yeah, well... He must, he, he must just be injured. Wasn't physically able to do it. But congratulations for fighting through the whole fight. Oh, he good lord! Injured. What a tough guy. Yeah, he looks like uh, he looks really uncomfortable. But there he is, up. Oh yeah, that's that's a rib injury, I think. Something's definitely causing him uh, discomfort. But well done, Marlon Jones. What a spectacular debut. Uh, well, again, you know, you couldn't you couldn't get a much tougher pro debut than what these two fighters had to face. And, well done to the Aspire Combat Sports Academy prospect, Marlon Jones. Hell of an amateur. It's, and been, he, a, it's been a great start to the pro careers for that team. As oh, well. Liam McCracken, geez. Marlon Jones. The Aspire team was well known for having some of the best amateurs in the country coming up, and now some of those best amateurs are starting to become pro. Wow. Well, Mr. Saf Khan has entered the ring, has entered the cage, and we're about to make this one official. Five to the center of the cage, please. Five minutes to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hot four, I'm going to go to the judges and scorecard. Judge one scores it 30 27. Judge two. 30-25, Judge 3, 30-26, all three judges in favor of the winner in the blue corner, Noah Jones. Please show appreciation for Mitch Dobbins.